The year is 2024. A Japanese company, iSpace, is about to make history. They plan to land their spacecraft on the moon. This mission is not just about reaching the moon, exposing the secrets in the lunar north. This area holds secrets that could change our understanding of the moon and its resources. iSpace's mission is a big deal. It is a testament to human ingenuity and our desire to explore the cosmos. The company is at the forefront of a new era of space exploration, one driven by private companies. This mission is set to inspire a generation and pave the way for future lunar endeavors. It is a giant leap for iSpace and a significant step for humankind. The mission's success will have implications beyond the scientific community. It will demonstrate Japan's technological prowess on the global stage. It could also inspire other nations and private companies to invest in space exploration. The mission embodies the spirit of exploration and the pursuit of knowledge, capturing the imagination of people worldwide. Iaspace has chosen a landing site called Mare Frigoris. This sea of cold is located near the moon's north pole. Why this location? Mare Frigoris is a large, dark plain formed by ancient volcanic eruptions. These eruptions might have left behind valuable resources. Scientists believe that the moon's polar regions, including Mare Frigoris, may contain water ice. This ice could be a game changer for future lunar missions. It could be used for drinking water, oxygen production, and even rocket fuel. The presence of water ice in Mare Frigoris makes it a highly desirable location for scientific exploration and potential resource utilization. The region is also relatively flat, making it suitable for a safe landing. Its proximity to other areas of interest makes it strategically advantageous for exploration. By landing in Mare Frigoris, iSpace aims to gather valuable data about this region and its potential for supporting future lunar missions. Landing in the Moon's northern hemisphere offers unique advantages. One is sunlight. The Moon's poles experience extended periods of sunlight. This is crucial for solar-powered spacecraft. Continuous sunlight means more time for exploration and scientific experiments. Another advantage is communication. A spacecraft in the northern hemisphere has a better line of sight to Earth. This ensures reliable communication throughout the mission. Constant communication is vital for sending commands and receiving data. Section 4, Tenacious, Unveiling the Secrets of the Moon. On board the iSpace spacecraft is Tenacious. This is not your average rover. Tenacious is a micro rover. It is small but mighty. Its mission to explore the lunar surface and collect data. Tenacious will study the moon's soil. It will also look for signs of water ice. The data collected by Tenacious will help scientists understand the moon's history and evolution. It will also provide insights into the potential for utilizing lunar resources. Section 5, from Mission 1 to Mission 2, Learning from Experience. This is not iSpace's first attempt to reach the moon. Their first mission in 2023 did not go as planned. The spacecraft crashed during its descent. But iSpace learned from this experience. They have made improvements to their spacecraft design and landing procedures. These improvements are based on the data analysis from Mission 1. They have also strengthened their navigation and control systems to ensure a successful landing. The team's dedication to learning from past mistakes highlights their commitment to achieving their goals. Section 6, A Global Endeavor, Unlocking the Moon's Potential iSpace's mission is generating international interest. The world is watching. Why? Because the moon's polar regions hold immense potential. They could hold the key to sustainable lunar exploration. The discovery of water ice in these regions has sparked global interest. Countries and private companies are eager to explore these resources. iSpace's mission is a significant step towards unlocking the moon's potential. It paves the way for future collaborations and a new era of lunar exploration.